Hi, this is Mr. Nolan, and I just want to uh, run through our Radish BTB investigation really quickly, just because I sent this sense that there's a lot of confusion um, regarding what do our uh, results mean. So first, let's just kind of talk about our results, what we saw. We observed uh, that when we took our radishes and we put them in a box with some blue BTB and some yellow BTB, we noticed that the yellow BTB turned blue as long as they were in the light. So that was what we noticed. Um, and we noticed also that the radishes that were in the dark, this yellow BTB did not change as much. Some of them actually stayed straight yellow. So we want to try to use what we know about BTB and radishes and plant uh, photosynthesis in order to, to say what do these results mean? What are they supposed to mean? So let's kind of model this and uh, figure out what you know this is supposed to mean to us. So let's first model the radish plants in the light. So we have light which is striking our radish plants uh, over the course of the nighttime. And we have, we know that we've got CO2 in our yellow BTB. That's what makes it yellow, because CO2 dissolved in water turns it acidic, and so our BTB is yellow. So we noticed that over the course of the night, our yellow BTB turned bluish. So what that seems to indicate is that our CO2 actually left. Now, it didn't just go... <laughs> into the air, um, some of it was actually absorbed by the radish plants, because that's what happens when photosynthesis is going on. We've got our water plus CO2 is going to give us sugar, glucose, plus O2. And so this is the CO2 part, right? This is the CO2 getting absorbed by the plants so that they can make glucose. Oxygen does not affect BTB. So I don't want you to get confused and think, oh, well, oxygen is, you know, going into the BTB and that's what turned it blue. Well, that doesn't really make any sense because oxygen doesn't affect uh, the acidity of water. So O2 is really not involved here. It's not involved in the color change. So O2 is not involved in the color change. So when we see our radishes in the light and that they change that yellow BTB more to blue, that's because they're actually pulling carbon dioxide out of the air and that carbon dioxide comes out of that yellow BTB and turns it more blue or green. So that's the idea behind when they're in the light is, is that. But let's think about when they're actually uh, in the dark. Let's think about that. So we've got our yellow BTB uh, that has our CO2 in it. And our plants are in the dark, so there's no photosynthesis going on. And what that means is that our plants are really not absorbing, they're really not absorbing CO2 because photosynthesis is not really going on. Um, they might be absorbing a little bit because of the dark reactions, but if they don't have light to, to make that reaction occur, they're really not going to pull that carbon dioxide out of there. Well, you might have a little bit of carbon dioxide leave the BTB. That's why some of them turned kind of greenish. Uh, but for the most part, this is really not occurring very much. So our CO2 kind of stays in the BTB when it's in the dark because that plant is not doing photosynthesis. It's really not conducting that reaction. So in the dark, that's why we found that our BTB, our yellow BTB, really did not change color. Uh, it actually kind of stayed the same. So this is, <coughs> this is what these results are supposed to mean um, from our radish and BTB investigation. So I hope that that is helpful for, for trying to figure out what's going on here.